is up everyone? My name would be Josh. This is Strain Central, and today we are going to be doing the Strain Mail episode, I believe, number six. So, we literally probably have enough mail today to, like, start our own post office, and I think there's a little over 20 pieces altogether. So, there is probably going to be some kind of weird cuts in between here for the simple fact that if I, like, actually opened all these on camera, it would probably take me almost two hours time. <laughs> so... We are gonna go into smoke and then jump into all of the uh, letters and the packages that you guys sent. So if you guys would like to send any kind of art or anything, I will make sure to put the uh, address down below in the description. But I can tell you for like the last week, the post office has actually probably been trying to fist fight me. So the emails have been getting like slowly and slowly more passive aggressive. Like the first couple were just, you have some mail, you need to come pick it up. And then by the last one it was like, if you do not pay your mail, you will be getting fees for this, 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 and this. So, when I went in to actually pick stuff up, I can't say that they were the most angry, but it's like the DMV. It's the post office, so you literally actually can't go in there and leave happy. Like, I just think that people go in there assuming it's going to go well. So I've just started actually going into post offices assuming it's going to go horribly. I just assume everyone's going to be angry and it's going to be the worst time possible. So if I have like a halfway okay time, I walk out like, that was a good day. <laughs> this was not a bad trip. But really quickly, we're going to go ahead and take a glob off the small little, uh, this is the Cetus Glass on Instagram Minitube. I'm actually dabbing today on some of this uh, Sour Cookies Rosin, so it's the Sour Diesel crossed with Girl Scout Cookies. Someone also said the other day that I've never actually reviewed the Strain Sour Diesel, and I had to go back and actually check if that was true. It is! And the weird thing, I wouldn't say like the main reason I haven't so far, is just the simple fact that a lot of those big staple strains, I wait until I find like a perfect batch for them, because I don't want to be reviewing some like subpar Sour Diesel. For the simple fact that it's like such a popular strain, so with like GDP, Girl Scout cookies, just OG Kush, a lot of the really popular ones, I'm waiting until I get like that perfect sample per se. But I'm, I'm rambling today, I definitely hope you guys are smoking along, dabbing along, vaping along, getting those candles nice and deep into your lungs, because these are going to be deep in mind. So cheers guys, let's puddle squad this real quick. Super low temp. Super, super flavorful though. <coughs> Those mini tubes, if you can low temp them, are going to be like insane flavor. But let's just go ahead and get into uh, unboxing. I literally actually do not know where to begin here. So I guess we will just start with a letter. So this is from Reed M. <coughs> from uh, West Islip, New York. So Reed has actually sent us stuff in before. And there is <coughs> some little drawings on the very back of this letter as well. I had to go grab my uh, letter opener. I literally almost completely forgot. So now I can pirate the letters a little more. <laughs> that sounded really weird. But Reed sense over. It looks like a couple more drawings and whatnots. So on the inside here, we got a little panda smoking, watching a strain central video. And it says, uh, what's up? My name will be Josh. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. Thank you very much, Reed, for the little panda drawing. And I think this is also another drawing. Uh, it's a little thing that says, make weed legal. So that is quite rad. It's a, it's a pretty good little drawing of the US, if I do say so myself. As well as like a Bic lighter and then a little Rasta flag. So thank you very much, Reed, for continually sending in arts. I appreciate it very much. Uh, so this is a letter from Brooklyn. And she also did include a really, really, really cool piece of art. Uh, it's a photocopy, but that being said, it's an incredible, incredible, incredible photocopy. So it's some pencil art, and it basically just says, do what makes you happy, then there's like the little pineapple heartbeat, and then the, the play button and the P. So that is some really, 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 really awesome artwork, if I do say so myself. Thank you very much, Brooklyn. That will definitely be making its way right up onto the wall. I feel like this pretty much encompasses me, like with the pineapple and the play button and the piece and just, it, it all ties together really well, so thank you very much. This next one is from Greg Cuthbert from uh, Cortland, New York. So let us see what he drew for us. <laughs> that is pretty cool. It says hashtag glob squad on the back and it's just a little, I guess stoner Mickey Mouse is what we'll call that. <laughs> Looks like he's wearing the uh, the H3H3 Go Green shirt. 
So that is quite the awesome little drawing. I think there is also some other stuff in here. Um, I think this is, oh, it's ResBlock, huh? I've never actually seen them in the little single-use packages, but there's like two really, three little things of ResBlock in here as well. And this is basically just, you put this in your water, uh, any kind of like, I think it's oil and, and like flour, any kind of on water, and it will essentially make it so it doesn't resonate as quickly. Um, it's supposed to be something you don't have to clean as much. So thank you very much, Greg, for the drawing as well as the res block. So this is a letter from Ryan out of uh, Sacramento, California, so Bay Area. Um, he basically says that in December, uh, he was diagnosed with uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma stage 4, which is the young person cancer, and he's actually just now going through, I believe, his fifth cycle of chemo. Um, so they are expecting him to make a full recovery, uh, but he found the channel and it's something that's apparently really helping, so I appreciate this letter very, 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 very much, Ryan. Honestly, like, I have complete goosebumps right now, and, and these are the reasons that I, I do what I do. It, it's not only to hopefully educate this community, but it's, it's, it's things like this that really do solidify the fact that I'm thankful that I'm able to be in this position, and and if I can spread any kind of positivity to even one of you, I feel like I've accomplished exactly what I've set out for. So, I like am am sending all the positive vibes your way, brother, and I'm hoping and praying for a full full recovery. You got this, my man. But uh, thank you very much for this little letter, and then he did also draw. <laughs> Drew a little leaf on the back, which I definitely appreciate, as well as some E40 lyrics, so I can respect that. <laughs> this is actually pretty, this is, this is definitely really, really unique. So this is from uh, Megan and Michael Blair in Grotsby, uh, North Dakota. So this is an entire page, literally the entire page is filled with like, I guess just different terms of, of like, just weed. So it's like marijuana, weed, pot, Mary Jane, cannabis, grass, wacky tobacco, 420, ganja, dope, herb. It literally goes on and on and on and on and on for the entire page. So if anyone wants to like somehow zoom in and get like a close up of that, that is quite a lot of work that I'm assuming that went into that. And this is a little thing that just says coffeeology and it's like espresso yourself, stay grounds, better latte than never, take life one cup at a time. <laughs> Uh, take time to smell the coffee. So thank you very much Megan and Michael for the quite unique little letter of coffeeisms and I guess little just weed terms? What do we want to call this? <laughs> so this one is from uh, Brenna Walker in El Cajon, California. I don't know exactly what it is and I'm gonna kind of carefully try to open this without breaking anything. It was very nicely packaged and it said do not bend, so I'm assuming it's a piece of art that's nicely, nicely done. Oh my goodness, I can see like half of it already and I already am blown away. Alright, hold up. Let us see. It looks like a little like almost picture book or something. So it starts out with just Strain Central, which is really, really well done. I don't know exactly how this works. J -O oh wait, hold on. Hold on, it's it's a sign. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> oh, it actually says in the back: J for joints, O for osium, S for shatter, and H for amplic. <laughs> so she even spe like gave them specific little names, and that's how she drew the art. I'm assuming. So thank you so much, Brenda. This is so so cool. This will definitely either go like up on the wall right here or maybe like in the studio or something, but that's, thank you. <laughs> you are such a good artist. Alrighty, so really quickly, I'm gonna take a glob and then we're gonna do a couple more of these uh, packages, I think. I think we have like two more letters and probably like four or five more packages or so. So actually, I'm gonna rip out of the kilo spoon really quick. So cheers. So Kilo is actually an artist that works for uh, 420 Science. I've had that piece for quite a while, but just haven't like busted it out for the show. So this is a package from uh, Kush Papers in Oak Harbor, Washington. Oh wow! So really, really, really close. 
I almost could probably just like go up to their, their little studio or whatever it is. Nice little hat that says Kush on it, but unfortunately, I've said this plenty of times about my head, and now I will actually prove the point. I have a large head. Even like with not much hair, I will put this snapback to the absolute largest size that it can possibly go. This hat barely fits on my head. So this is why I don't wear hats, and this is why I've never really been able to wear hats. Snapbacks don't fit, and if I actually do find a hat that's like my size, it's probably going to be bigger than an 8, like an 8 and one third, if that's even a size that's made. <laughs> but I do appreciate that very much, and then it looks like the rest is just full of their papers. So it looks like they have uh, all organic hemp papers, I do believe. I don't see any that aren't. Uh, unbleached papers, and then they have 100% hemp king size, 100% hemp in the one and one fourth size, and this is the organic hemp's. So they have a bunch of different kinds, unbleached, uh, king size, looks like they also have some ultra fine rice papers if that's your thing. So just a bunch of different kind of papers, I've never heard of these, but does not mean I am not willing to at the very least try them out and see what they're all about. And then a couple stickers that will probably be thrown up on the sticker wall, so thank you very much guys for sending that over, nice little goodie package, goodie thing. I actually genuinely think someone used an entire roll of tape on this package, so... Actually, I should probably see who it is before I just start ripping it apart. Uh, J. Kim in... Oh, this is actually from Dr. Puff. Uh, Dr. Puff the MD on Twitter from Hawaii. So let's see what kind of goodies we did get today. We got styrofoam! Yay! What is actually in the styrofoam, though, is the real question. Maybe that's all we got. We just got a piece of styrofoam. Like, that is our present. I would be okay with it. Hard to recycle, but at least it's a gift, right? <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's so cool! So, we got a coffee cup for... Let's see if... I actually have to close up on this really quick. Hold on. It is a Swag Collective coffee cup. So that is super, 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 super rad, and uh, I now have like a actual coffee cup to be to be repping in the morning. So thank you very much, John, for the sick cup. So this one is from Joseph in uh, San Francisco. Looks like it is some kind of cardboard. So it might be a sticker. There is nothing inside this cardboard. <laughs> Alright, so whatever it is, I'm assuming is actually not in the cardboard. <laughs> uh, it might have just fallen out, not really 100% sure. Let's see. Classical composer, here's a piece I wrote performed by the Living Earth Show. Nice, so that is super cool. I always love seeing the different like talents and stuff throughout this community. Um, so I will, without a doubt, have to listen to this and see, see what it's like. His name is Joseph Colombo, and he is a composer out of California. So, thank you very much, Joseph, for sending me over some of your work. You guys always get to see my work, so getting to see uh, your guys' work is something I do quite enjoy. Alright, so let's do another letter. This is really cool. So this one is from uh, New Zealand. I just, where's my, I've lost my pineapple. Pineapple down. How will I ever open letters without a letter opener? Here it is. Uh, yeah, but it's from Michael Dreber in New Zealand, so that is really, really rad. I always love the overseas uh, mail. I mean, I love all the mail, but it's cool to see people overseas actually watching the, the content. So, first thing he drew, <laughs> little straight and central with my background. He nailed that, like, pretty well. I'm pretty sure that's even, that is candid. Like, all of those stickers are even placed correctly. So I'm sure he just sat down and watched the video and then and drew them, but that's some straight devotion right there. So thank you very much for the arts. I think there's another one in here as well, and then a letter. And then this is a noise. Like the back of some kind of a Supra, I want to say? Oh, I got it. I could even see that through the, through the drawing. A back of a Toyota Supra that says uh, Josh420, and then a little strain central thing with... Ooh, I am, I am gonna now exhibit my lack of car knowledge. Is this a transmission? <laughs> I have no clue what that is. Um, but that is super cool. And then he sends a, <laughs> a letter with two American dollars in it. So, thank you very, very much. I appreciate the support. He says, uh, you're my favorite YouTuber. 
Hope you like my drawings. Would have sent more, but shipping from New Zealand to America is very expensive. And then he also shows uh, exactly where in New Zealand he is from. So thank you very much, Mitchell. <laughs> I appreciate that very much. I will actually more than likely, since you did send a couple of dollars along with, uh, write a letter back and at the very least send you like a nice little signed paper with your name on it because you did kind of include like the return shipping. Okay, so Jenna is basically from Maine and she works in a head shop. Uh, and she said that she was watching one of the Wake and Bakes and figured out that I was like actually out of Hempwick. So what she decided to do was send over some Hempwick and she actually works at a head shop. So she also threw in some of these really, 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 really handy pipe cleaners. I always rant and rave about these. Uh, these are like the pipe cleaners that have little bristles on them. So instead of just being like fuzzy, they have little like plastic bristles and they're really, really, really good for cleaning, especially dry pipes. Um, she also sent in some like hand-blown glass screens and then a sick piece of main glass. Oh, and this. This fell on the table as well. This is like a little container. You could probably put like maybe an eighth in there or a little bit of oil. And then she said that this is actually some hand-blown glass from Maine. So I'm super stoked to see what this is like. Oh, <laughs> this thing is super rad. So it's just like a, a fumed, um, like spoon pipe, but... From the looks of it, it looks like one of the pieces that will like change over time color-wise. So I mean, now that we have Hempwick, we might as well use it. <laughs> we will also go ahead and christen this spoon, just because you always got to christen new glass in the show. So thank you again, Jenna. Cheers to that. Little bit of a Scooby snack there. No big deal though. So the next one is by Orion Glace from uh, Lakeside, Montana. So that's cool. <laughs> that is so rad. So he sent in a little alien holding. I think that's just, that is just a giant nug. <laughs> that will definitely make its way uh, right up onto the wall. I appreciate that very, very, very much, brother. So I don't know exactly what these are called, but they're like completely symmetrical and I really, really like that. That's really cool. So thank you very much. Uh, I can't draw very well, but I love the color. So I figured, uh, oh, they're called mandalas or man mandalas, man mandalas. Probably should know how to say that term at this point in my life. Um, <laughs> but thank you very much, Megan. I appreciate that very much. That'll definitely make its way up on the wall so I can stare at it. It's, it's symmetrical, like all the way around though. It's really cool. I just want to take a second to appreciate the fact that this was addressed to Josh Don't Know. <laughs> That's one of my favorite ones I've seen yet. <laughs> Alright, so this is actually from uh, Andrew in White House, Ohio. We got newspaper! We're going to be updated on current news! <laughs> Let's see what is actually inside said newspaper. I think something like instantly fell out as I opened it. I think this might be a piece of glass. That is what it feels like. Ooh, actually, way cooler than glass. So, it's some kind of a wood piece, and I'm assuming this is more than likely actually handmade. Uh, the exterior finish is natural and food safe mineral oil and uh, cornobula wax. The inside of the bowl has no finish on it, so no worries. So I'm assuming this is an entirely handmade, uh, like, actual spoon pipe, but let me see the letter and see what this is all about. Uh, he says he knows I don't do a lot of dry smoking, uh, but unfortunately for now, he's only a woodworker, not a glass blower. So this is what he could manage. That being said, this thing is super, super, super unique and super cool. I like the style of it. I also like this little ring that like can't really come off, but is still like a little decoration. It's pretty dope. So thank you very much, brother. A sick little wood hand pipe that will without a doubt be used on the show. I feel like we could make this into like an entire episode, like smoking with wood. I know I've technically already done that, but we can manage. <laughs> so this last one is actually from Corey B in Woodland, Pennsylvania. And yet again, just a, I feel like it's just a carry theme. So follow suit. It's very, very, very well taped. So I will give you all that. Packing peanuts! Please read this during the unboxing. You will see why. All right. 
really quickly, I will uh, jump into this. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and share this letter with you guys. Normally, letters I kind of keep to myself and read because they're they're personal the majority of the time. But this does say uh, read it during the unboxing, and and he does give me permission, so I guess I will. And it is also a very incredibly, insanely touching letter. So. Uh, he says, Josh, my name is Corey. YouTube ID is Chauncey666. I was diagnosed with B-cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma at 26. I am now 35, and after being in remission for 5 plus years, my cancer relapsed in 2014. I have just completed my final round of uh, proton therapy, and I'm pretty confident that I can beat this again, especially since my body's responding well to the treatments. However, and this is why I asked you to read this on video, a very big reason that I am doing so well is state of mind. Josh, you always push positivity and happiness uh, being a state of mind, and I just want all of your viewers to know that it makes a huge difference. It's not easy to stay positive in the face of despair, but that is when you need it the most of all. So, I wanted to thank you for the encouraging, informative, and entertaining videos, and for always pushing a positive image of cannabis. It is the only thing that managed all of my symptoms, but unfortunately, I'm not in a legal state. Anyways, I hope that you enjoy all the bubblers I sent you. I figured the mini Sherlock bubbler would go well with your bong spoon pipes. Ha! Huh? Thank you again for the videos and that message that you are carrying about the cannabis community and for the cannabis community. Make sure you keep those cannabinoids deep inside your lungs. Stay positive. Stay medicated. Peace. I genuinely actually can't explain to you guys, like I said earlier, the amount that stuff like this means to me. I never started this in channel with, with the intent of growing it large or having a large audience or, or really anything that it's turned into. I made this channel with the intent of just finding some like-minded people that wanted to maybe discuss the same topics that I had interest in and that I could maybe entertain for some time. So. Being in a position that I'm able to, as you guys say, legitimately actually change your state of mind and, and help you through hard times is something that I, I will never be able to thank you guys enough for. I, I cannot actually physically put into words the amount of just respect that I have for you guys as humans and the gratitude that I have that you guys support this channel. Let's see what we got in this box. <laughs> that thing is so awesome. So it's like a, a fumed red slash white little, I think this is just a, like straight bubbler. I think there's probably maybe a little bit of water that can be in that. I'm trying to think if this is actually a water bubbler. I do believe it is because I think it has a little down stem in it. But a little water bub and then we got another one right here will definitely be a nice addition to the collection. Let's see what this one is. This one feels like it's pretty heavy, whatever it is. Whoa! This one's crazy! So this one's like a little more of a sidecar bubbler. Let me see if I can get a close-up of this. So this is almost like completely matching my Mai Tai Klein rig, which is awesome. I'll have to do a Mai Tai slash little uh, sidecar bubbler review here soon. But I am actually completely out of flour, so I cannot unfortunately utilize or break in any of the rest of these pieces. That all being said, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the little uh, status glass tube before we do head out of here. Thank you so much, guys. Like, I, I can't even express how fucking awesome you guys are. Like, all social medias, through YouTube comments, and then, obviously, mail, it's incredible to me how supportive you guys have been lately, and I appreciate that a lot, so. Cheers. I know I say that shit a lot, and I get all sappy with it, but it's, it's true, and it's something that I want to remind you guys of. I'm very appreciative every single day of, of you guys as an audience, and I mean that, so. Cheers. I think we have a little hair on this, Deb. Gotta get that off of there. Hashtag real life problems. <laughs> Cheers. Stay positive. Stay medicated. Peace, guys.